Welcome back guys and we're back again with another tutorial. This time we're going to be going over how to install an anti-cheat plugin onto your Minecraft server. So we're going to be installing Spartan anti-cheat. Of course you can install other anti-cheat plugins, however you should be able to use the configuration and plugin installation method in the same ways. So there's two ways to install it. One way is through going to files, plugin list and then searching for it here. So if I go to bucket here on the source and I search Spartan you're going to see here we got three options here. And we're going to go for the Spartan Premium Anti-Cheat. It does say Premium, however, this is a free anti-cheat. And it's quite good. I personally use it on my servers also. So, first of all, before we actually install it, we're going to head over to our Moldcraft control panel and just stop our server. Once we've stopped, we're going to come back over to Files and then Plugin List. Just like we've done before, we're going to search up Spartan under the bucket source. And then we're going to click on Spartan Premium Anti-Cheat here. We're going to just check that it works for the version that we've got. So this works for 116, 115, 14, 13, 12, 11, so it works for quite a few versions. This is why I'm suggesting this one for this video. Now, if you just want to install it using this service, you can just click install, and as easy as that, you have now installed it. However, if you found the anti-cheat or another anti-cheat through the actual website itself, or you know you want to download the file, you're just going to hit download on uh, where it's prompting you to download the latest file. You're going to keep the file, um, and then save it down into your folder. For this instance, I'm just going to pop it down on the desktop for easy access. Now to actually upload your plugin, you're going to come to files and head on over to FTP file access. Once you've logged on, you're just going to come over to plugins. Of course, we have just installed it um, using the plugin list. However, if you did want to install it um, through a file, you're just going to go to upload. You're going to choose the file. You're going to double click the Spartan one or whatever anti-cheat you've installed or wanted to install, and then you're going to hit submit. Now just start up your server so all the files will start up on the Spartan plugin, and then we can actually get to configuring some of them. So now that the server has started back up and you've got your little tick here, we're going to go to files, conf config files, and then you're going to see that we have all of these files come up for Spartan here, which is checks, the SQL, YML, bans, messages, compatibility, uh, config YML settings YML. Now to configure this you're just going to come over to the config YML and here you're going to be able to check for everything that it tests for. So as you can see we got a huge amount of stuff that it actually tests for on here and just to configure it um, you're going to be able to change this from enabled to true to false. I do believe on this particular plugin um, everything comes as true so everything is enabled at first and then you can change it to disable stuff if you don't actually want it to check for that. So let's say if you didn't want it to check for x-ray you can just change this true over to false. Um, once you save the file that will now mean that it won't be checking for the x-ray. Underneath you're going to have the actual name of the cheat that it's found or what it's named as. Underneath that you can disable worlds where it's checked. So if I had a world um, just called world that I didn't want this uh, enabled on, I would disable it on the world called worlds with a quotation mark on either side. And the same with the silent worlds underneath. Now of course not all anti-cheat plugins are going to be exactly the same as this, but this will give you a good idea about how to change configuration and what you can actually change. And as soon as you log in you're going to get a message like this saying you can have a better plugin experience by using the inventory menu, um, which we will do right now, and you can check all the configuration through there too. So let's go ahead and do Spartan and then menu. And as you can see, we've got a really cool menu here where you can um, reload the configuration and it also gives you a live um, TPS, you know, your memory, um, about your computer and your version, etc. So really cool plugin. Um, you can also change the configurations through here, which makes it super easy. If I wanted to change checks, um, I can just go through here and change the value from false um, to true. And you can change anything from compatibility um, you know, config, messages, settings, and the SQL if you've got one set up for it. You can change whether you're receiving the notifications, um, for the verbose notifications, which is if somebody's doing something wrong, or what violations have been broken. Here you can actually reset the violations of the players. You can manage checks here, and you can go through the checks one by one, or enable all checks or disable checks. So if you actually want to check a specific player, you can do something, you know, like a spa and info, and then put their name, press enter, and then it will come up and it will tell you anything that they've been caught violations or any checks that you know might have been caught by the system obviously i've got zero this is a brand new loaded world and of course i don't use hack clients however if they did they might have um, a check violation of maybe two or three and you can see what they've been doing whilst you've not been in so with that you should now be well on your way to having a well protected server of course once you configure it to your exact liking so thanks again for watching guys uh, don't forget to check out the Minecraft server tutorials on the Seekerhost website, or of course if you are looking for your own Minecraft server. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.